Hey, good morning. It's Lauren, your Independent Sensi Consultant, and I am excited to share with you the big haul that I got. I will share other hauls with you as I get them, but I don't think they're going to be as big as this haul. So let me just start. I've got everything spread out here. So the first thing I'm going to share with you, let me pull the box over here, is the um, Sensi Buddy in the Mickey Mouse Jack-O-Lantern. And this actually replicates the Mickey Mouse Jack-O-Lantern on Main Street USA at Disneyland. Um, I'm gonna be there at Disneyland next week. I'm so excited about this. And it does that Jack-O-Lantern on Main Street on the back side does have the blinky eye, winky. Some people call him winky, other people call him blinky. So, this Scentsy Buddy is a nice plush. As you can see here, he's got the blinky eye on this side. And then turn him around. And he's got the regular face. And then um, under, not under, on the side here, he has got the zipper compartment where you're able to place the um, scent pack and I do have that right here and the scent pack that comes with this particular Scentsy Buddy, let me find it here, is, it's taking me a minute, is the Disney Frightfully Delightful Extraordinary Golden, oh, which has Extraordinary Golden Pumpkin, illuminated with bright harvest peach and delightful touches of whipped vanilla and brown sugar that delivers the thrills of the season. This is a really good scent. I'm gonna open it up and I'm gonna put it in my buddy right now. Let's see. So it's really, really easy. These scent packs are filled with um, scented beads. This little scent pack is so designed, so sweet. Can you see the, the scent beads in there? And I have a scent uh, buddy from last year that still has really good scent in it. So I have put the scent pack in there. I will zip it up and now my Scentsy Buddy is going to smell amazing throughout the season. So there you have it. And I will read you the description really quick here. Um, with pumpkin ears and an enchanting smile, this plush jack-o'-lantern bears a haunting resemblance to a beloved classic and it features a different expression on both sides. Every Disney Mickey Mouse Jack-O-Lantern Scentsy Buddy comes with a scent pack in our Disney Frightfully Delightful fragrance. So there you have it. Love it. All right. So I don't know where to choose these items. I have things spread out everywhere. So the next item I am going to... Oh, let me get something simple here. I'm going <laughs> to... This isn't a harvest item at all, but I must talk about this. This was from last season, and it is the Banana Leaf and Bamboo All-Purpose Cleaner Concentrate. This came in this haul, and I have to mention it because I sent out samples, and one of my friends, she has a stovetop that she tried everything in the book to get it clean. She had some stains on there or something she needed to scrub off. Nothing worked, and then she found her sample of this cleaner concentrate, and she said, huh, I'm going to try that, and it worked. It was the only thing that worked to clean off her flat top, stove top. So she ordered one for herself. She was going to share it with her daughter, and her daughter said, no, I want my own. So, yeah, this cleaner concentrate is amazing, and she only wanted the bamboo and leaf, so there we go. Maybe because that was her sample, that's the only one she wanted. Maybe that's she thought that's the only one that would work. 
All right, so now I got the Haunted Spa Warmer. So excited. I got this one to go with Chilling Brew because I thought they were kind of a similar type of, you know, thing because the Chilling Brew has the skeleton coming out of the cup. And this Chilling Brew is so cute. If you had red cubes, it can go in there and kind of look a little bit like blood. So this is obviously this ghost is in a bathtub and this red let me plug it in the red dot don't mind you might hear birds and dogs in the background i have a little vocal dog who's down there trying to make a little sounds so when the little red indicator light comes on oh that it was already on on that means it is warming so cute so I have fun Halloween decoration sections and spooky this will go in my spooky section and I will read you the description if I can get there of this really cute warmer kick back relax and fill your afterlife with fragrance <laughs> that's the description so let me get so cute haunted spa warmer i had to have it oh maybe i could put it in the bathroom that will be so cute so cute after i come back from disneyland because i have so much to do before i go to disneyland so there you have it haunted spa warmer so so cute and then what the next warmer i this was my top choice. Well, I have a lot of top choices. I had to really reel myself in. Let me see if I can find it on here. Ah, so I can get the description. This is the Tangled Warmer. And let me tell you, this is way more beautiful than I thought it was going to be. It is... It is... I didn't think it was going to look so pretty turned off and I am going to find the description here and I will show you this warmer turned on so beautiful so it is the tangled web warmer and spider web spun in the shadows lurk in the dark until this warmer is lit illuminating the stunning details within. And I'm sorry, I know we got this bright light showing, but look at the beautiful color on this. So I'm gonna take this part off. This is like a, um, a brushed metal. It is like a black. I don't know if we need more light. And then the dish is this uh, beautiful, maroon purplish color here so pretty and then this takes a 20 watt light bulb and you can see on the inside here the spider webbing design and then you wait until you see it lit up this warmer I love it and I, as I've said in other videos I am a Halloween hoarder Halloween item hoarder oh my gosh so I'm going to turn off this bigger light oh. just this warmer is awesome awesome for Halloween heck yes let me get it closer to get a better I'm trying to get a better look here I love this warmer this really feeds my Halloween love and soul now I love Halloween stuff I, I'm not evil or anything it's just so fun and 
I really have a good time with it. So this warmer is everything. When I saw this warmer, I was like, yes, 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 yes. Now that leads me to the next warmer, which was one of my top picks. But actually, I didn't order it for myself. However, this is my warmer. <laughs> I heard a friend say, oh, I want this warmer. Um, we hadn't finalized the warmer. And, um, and then she said she was kind of like a backup at a party. And she said, I want to order it for that party. And I had already ordered this. <laughs> not at the party so I said okay well I guess I'm gonna keep it this is the ominous gaze warmer and I am so glad because you know I just can't have all the warmers but I'm so glad I have it because I'm in love with this warmer and this is all eyes will be on you and your spectacular spectacular decor comes with a green light bulb for a ghostly glow and you know what you can put any color light bulb you want in there I have the green light bulb in there there's what the inside looks like and this is the dish it's a really nice looking dish on the back side This warmer is way better than I thought. So let me plug this in here. Love, love, love this ominous gaze warmer. And you can put any color you want in there. You could put red, purple, pink if you wanted to, orange. You could put all of the colors. As a matter of fact, I have all the light bulbs here. I could do that. This would make the video a little bit longer. And I wanted to get through everything because I have a lot to show you. But let me let me just get a red one here. Just to give you a little bit of of because I haven't seen it with a different light bulb of what it might look like. But green is my favorite. <laughs> Even though I haven't seen it with other ones. Okay, I have a red light bulb in there. Okay, let me get it closer. Let me turn off this light. Okay, the camera is not showing you how red it is, but let me get it closer and hopefully... Ah! I thought I would get better focus on this camera, but it's not showing you how red it is. It is very red to my eye, but for you guys, it's not as red. And it looks really nice red. Shoot, I'm kind of bummed that you're not seeing it. It really is red. Let me see if I can get a good focus. Get it in real close. That's how I used to do it. Nope, it's not working. No. Oh, oh well. To my naked eye here, not through the camera lens, it is red. Um, but to you guys, it's kind of an orangey or a light color. But yes, you can add all the different light bulb colors. And I, I love the green. So that is the best way to do it. And let me see. Oh my gosh, I have so many things to show you still. Oh, okay. This warmer is not mine, but I got permission to show it to you. So we have 
Disney's Scentsy Cocoa Warmer from Pixar and the box is really, really cute. Check this box out. Let me look at the cute box. Oh my goodness. And then look at the top there. And when you open the top, it says La Familia. It actually says, tonight is about family. And then I'm going to pull this out. I already showed it to my VIP group. But here is, let me get this better light on. Whoa, whoo. Here is the warming dish. This warming dish is so precious. And then I'm gonna get the warmer out. It takes a 25 watt light bulb. <clears throat> Here is the warmer not lit up. Here is the inside with the 25 watt light bulb. And I'm going to plug this beauty in. This little warmer is also everything. Okay, that means I have to turn off this big light. Huh. Ah, look at this warmer. Coco. And actually, too, with the other lighting and in the camera, it is not as great. If any of you have uh, seen any of my pictures of it, oh, it's getting a little better there. Yeah, look at that. Oh my goodness. It's got the little guitars and musical notes. The Dia de los Muertos skulls. This little warmer is everything. And I'm so excited because Disneyland's uh, California Adventure uh, it's going to be a while, but they are going to make a new um, cocoa ride. They're going to start, they're going to break ground in 2026, so it's a little while away. They're doing a lot of new things, and I'm like, I hope I'm not too old by the time they're done with all this stuff, but so excited. I love this warmer. Oh my gosh. I love it. I hope you guys love it too. And there we go with the cocoa warmer. Ah! Oh my gosh, so many adorable things. All right, oh my gosh, now what do I show you? So many things. Okay, so this one I have to be careful in how I show you. I'm gonna pull up my little base here for a diffuser. Now, I have a diffuser here. This is my fuser that I put out for spring and summer. I'm gonna put it on here, and I'm gonna show you how handy it is to switch out the, the shades. Um, for this new haunted shade, now I'm gonna turn on the color. Let's see. So I've turned it on, and before I go all the way with it, I'm gonna move this over, and I'm gonna show you the, the diffuser shade that I bought. So you can get this, let me turn on the light. You can get this in a, a complete diffuser set, or if you already have diffusers, you can switch out the shade. You can just buy the shade. So I'm gonna find that here so I can 
describe it for you. Uh, all right. This is the Mist uh, Mystifying Moonlight shade only. This eerie mansion lures you in with an air of mystery and a supernatural fragrance experience. So first of all, take a good look at all the details of this mansion. This is beautiful. I gotta move this one over a little bit. Oh. Look at the door up there on the balcony. Excuse me. Excuse me. Fall in the northern Sacramento or the Sacramento region can make you sneeze. There's so many trees here. Okay, so let me show you how this works. So I have, I'm going to take, oh, I've already turned on. You take off, this is super simple. You take off the, the shade that you want to put away. And then, oh, I'm going to sneeze again. Excuse me. And then you put on the shade that you want to use for the season. And here is the haunted, haunted, mystifying moonlight diffuser. And can you see the steam coming out? Let me turn down the light. Oh, I think it. I think we do need the light for this one, but let me get up in here. How cute is this? You can see in the windows on the side, that tree. Oh my gosh, the detail on this warmer or diffuser. This. And the back is just, you know, regular. Love, love, love this thing. Oh, I'm gonna turn the light back on. That way you can see the detail better. Yeah. So again, you can buy the whole diffuser system or if you already have a diffuser system, you can get the shade only. So that is awesome. I have a few diffuser systems, so I would just, for me, I just got the shade. And look as it's changing colors, or you can set one color if you'd like. So I'm gonna put this down over here gently because, ah. Oh, I forgot I fall one down here that I had put away because this one doesn't belong to me, but I'm so excited about it. The retro blue truck. Oh my gosh, so cute. So cute. Let me get it plugged in. I mean, it's not that it lights up, but the um, headlight. So if you already have a truck, you can order just the pumpkins in the back. But if you need the whole truck, it's so adorable. Now, it's an element warmer. This is where you would put your wax. And if you do put the pumpkins on there, they have a bunch of holes in there to let the scent through. Look at this truck. And you know it's on because when you turn it on, the lights go on. And that means it's warming. And there are 
the lights back here. Oops, gotta make sure I put this on right. And this little truck is so perfect for any fall decor. Oh my gosh, I love it and it is so shiny and just so adorable. I love this retro blue truck. Since he did such a good job, they have so many cute fall harvest items this year. And every year they seem to have so many cute things. So I really hope you love this truck. You know, in the past they come up with a black, they've had a black truck and a white truck. I don't know if I have the white truck. And then the, for Easter and Mother's Day, they had the pink truck. And they would come up with, you could buy the flowers for the back around the springtime. Or around Christmas, they will sell like the Christmas trees to put in the back. So it's such a good buy to get one of these. You can add and keep it up year round. Such a, a good buy. So there we go on that one. All right. So let's see what else I have. Ooh, I don't want to miss anything. Uh, before I go on... I do have a big one to show you, but, and I will do a more in-depth video on this bigger one. But let me quickly show you, I have a friend who loves Scarlet Sunflower Scent Circles, and now they come in three packs, and she wanted a year's worth of them. So, there we go. There is a year's worth of Scent Circles. Um... I'm also, I was debating on whether to show you guys the Furry Friends Warmer, and I will show you since we're doing, this is just a fall and harvest showing. I'm going to plug this in, and I need a light bulb. I, ah, where did my light bulbs go? Because I used the light bulb for something else. Give me just a moment here. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I've lost a light bulb. Oh, no. I don't think I have the right size light bulb. Oh, I do have the right size light bulb. Okay. This is my favorite warmer of all time. Because I am an animal lover. As well as I am a Disney lover... I'm an animal lover. And I follow Taki's shelter. He is an animal rescue in Greece on the island of Crete. He has bought a lot of property and has probably 500 animals now. It was like 450 a few weeks ago or a month. But um, I follow the stories of all the animals there. And this warmer has an array of different dogs all around. The only thing I hear about these warmers, now, first of all, look at the butterflies. The butterflies are sweet. And there's all, all breeds of dogs on here. And the only complaint I hear about warmers like these, as beautiful as they are, and you could put different colors in them. Let me turn off this big light. Um, people don't seem to like these white colored warmers when they're turned off. They think that um, they're not attractive and so they must be turned on at all times for you to enjoy them. Because when they're off, they're not very attractive to look at and so this particular video is just a haul a quick haul of all the things I've got and I plan to do a video 
more in depth on a couple of these warmers such as this one and I'll do different light bulb colors. I do have another warmer to show you um, and it's a warmer that I'll do another in depth video on and it's a super fun one and it is I've got to show you the box because the box is awesome. This box. Woo -woo, is the Beetlejuice box. And so like I was saying, I'm just showing you the quick haul right now. And I will do more in-depth videos at a later time. So I love this box. Look at the top. Look at the cover. Let me turn this back on. This one says, I think it says Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Come on. Say it, say it a third time. And that cover is, the inner cover is so, the flaps are really cool. But I already have it out. I'm going to put it up. And I don't have a really good place to show the reflection here. So that's why I'll do a more in-depth video in the future. So here is the warming dish on this amazing warmer. And the movie, if it's not already out, it should be coming out soon. So it's a Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. This is the warming dish shaped as a little coffin. And this, as you can see here, is a um, element warmer. So that is the warming element. And check out the Beetlejuice right there. Awesome. Let me turn this on because I think it is so cool that this headstone lights up. And then in the back, well, and all around, what is that, an earthworm, mealworm that's giant? I will try to show a little bit. I don't think you can see. Ah. No. I wonder if I turn this little light off, if you'll be able to see better. Can... You can't really see that well. But there is a great reflection. I have shown it in, shown it in some pictures. Um, and so anyways, it's such an amazing warmer. There's the grass all the way around. I'm going to show you. I wish. I wonder... I, I don't have anything, maybe a piece of paper that I can show that reflection on. I wonder if it'll do it on this paper. You guys must see this. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> I'm, I'm not very coordinated here. Can you see that? My coordination is so off. I think the paper needs to be darker. But I hope you get the gist of it. And this warmer, I find it amazing. I saw a couple other consultants. Um, they posted a picture where, well, at least one. She had like five boxes where she sold five of these. Um, I did have one sold, so you have to be really a lover of Beetlejuice. And I, this is a really fun warmer. And there's lots of fun warmers coming, so hopefully I'm going to be showing you a lot of videos coming up soon. They, um, I, obviously I don't show them quite that often. I do work full time outside of Scentsy, and then I'm going to Disneyland. So it might be a little bit of time between videos, but. Um, 
it's fun when I do have them and I hope you enjoyed seeing these I do have a bunch of scents but those take a lot longer I did get the Familia Comes First scent and I put that in my living room so that I can smell that I haven't gone in there yet because I put it in right before the video this is a, a nice I think of it as a nice warm scent and um, the Beetlejuice scent I just put this in another room hmm I think both of these are really good I love their clamshell um, the way they look and let's see if I can If I can quickly get the descriptions of those. I don't see them. My computer's being a little silly. The Disney La Familia has a trail of bright Aztec marigold guides us the way while night blooming jasmine and warm vanilla amber harmonize on a heartfelt melody that echoes the love of family I really do get the vanilla amber in this and probably the marigold and like I said I'm warming it right now so I'll be able to get I think I do get the jasmine in there in the background so also I will Ah, where, oh, I, this is somewhere far away in this, where I'm looking. The Beetlejuice is white jasmine enlivened with notes of sparkling orange arises from the deep forest fusion. I find it funny because I did, okay, I did feel like I got, <sighs> what is that? I'm not getting orange for sure. Maybe I'm getting jasmine way deep in there, but I don't know. I'm not 100% sure. I got a little bit of a bakery scent in there, but I can't really describe it yet, but I am warming it, so at a later time when I do a more in-depth video on the Beetlejuice Warmer. Ah. Anyways, this was a long video because I had a ton to show you guys. I hope you enjoyed that, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you guys. Have a wonderful day. Bye.